In terms of population, Virginia Beach is about the size of Salt Lake City, so we decided to take a look at how our buildings, our public buildings, are secured to prevent a similar shooting from happening here at home. ABC4's Sarah Martin has that story. Shots fired, shots fired, second floor. The shooter was a former employee, so he knew his way around the building. Officers responded within two minutes, but it took another 10 minutes and 12 lives to take him down. We want you to know who they were, so in the days and weeks to come, you will learn what they meant to all of us, to their families, to their friends, and to their co-workers. When these active shooter uh, events happen, 70% of them are finished uh, in under five minutes. So a lot of the training, a lot of the preparation is happening long before uh, the event ever starts. At any government building, the local law enforcement agency is generally in charge of security. So here at the county buildings, that means the county sheriff is in charge. 123 deputies protect 15 buildings and thousands of employees. They're also available to any employer who feels they may need help with a disgruntled, soon to be former employee. But the last line of safety is always us. If you see something, say something. We teach our employees, um, you know, if, if someone's acting a little strange, maybe they've got things going on in their personal lives that, um, you know, are putting a little bit more stress on them, be aware of those people. Number one, keep yourself safe in the moment. Um, so, you know, if you hear gunfire, certainly don't uh, go to investigate, uh, right? We want you to hide and try and stay away from that. Um, and also, you know, your escape routes, uh, where can you go to, to be safe? Uh, you need to know your building um, and then fight. You've got to be you've got to be prepared to defend yourself. Reporting from Salt Lake City, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.